Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whenever you are watching us today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to play with MKBZ68P. This is the newest uh, secret battle bass tank, uh, because Wargaming is getting smart. They uh, did not announce a special chapter before new battle pass season. They did not allow us to stack up battle pass points uh, just to play one or two battles to get the extra bonus you get, you know, after you complete the full vehicle like over here in tier 8 uh, to get 25 extra points. No, 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 no. Only two days before this event released or uh, started, which is today, they said our or they said first messages about this. Now, what is MKPZ68P? This is the newest Battle Bass uh, special vehicle, as you can see. This is the fourth uh, chapter, basically. And uh, you are able to get this vehicle not completely for free, but if you spend 3,500 gold to unlock T improved rewards path right over here and the final mission uh, after 40 levels or the final reward after completing 40 levels is going to be this tank so the minimum you have to spend for this vehicle is 3500 but uh, some players uh, have already uh, we have seen this uh, from the matchmaking some players have already spent uh, 13,500 on it because after you buy the improved pass you can spend extra 10,000 gold uh, to skip all the stages and to get all the rewards and this vehicle as well now it comes with a special skin and this skin looks like this it is one of the most modern looking tanks uh, or skins in the game which is kind of cool looking but a little bit toy tankish plastic at the same time and it has a special effect whenever you get hit um, anywhere it uh, releases a blue pulsation or a little effect and a little sound effect as well on the top of that and uh, I would say the main part about this style is that it is actually removable as well. So let me show you how this tank looks like without this uh, style. Where is the style? Okay, here it is. So this is with the style and without the style, it looks like that. It looks like, you know, any other German tank in this game. Quite Germanish turret and uh, nothing to do with this though. So welcome to the tune, I guess. And um, by the way, very important thing to note over here. You can see the sides uh, skirts over here. Those are fake, guys. Those are actually fake. Those do not have any space starter whatsoever because in the special style, they uh, or this style does not have those side skirts. So you have to keep that in mind. And also, if we take a quick look. Uh, over here where the chat is because we are live as well right now. Hello, mom. Uh, hello, YouTube. Uh, you can see that the side is actually only 30 millimeters thick, guys. 30 millimeters of armor. So to overmatch this side, when you see this tank side scraping, for example, all you need is 30, or oh, sorry, 91 plus millimeter caliber, and you're able to do that. Unless you hit the, the tracks over here, which give uh, uh, extra 20 millimeters of spaced armor. But overall, guys, this tank has no armor whatsoever. We did play a couple warm-up battles, and uh, tier 6s were able to penetrate me very easily. Tier 6s were able to penetrate my turret even very easily, and uh, the gun mantlet, you know, in the face. Uh, there are some areas which can bounce on the gun mantlet door at the very edge of the turret, but uh, whenever you play with this tank, uh, just expect uh, to not bounce absolutely anything. Uh, what you can do in 122TM, for example, because 122's upper blade is 200, it is like very good side scraping as well, you can see. And also it has very good uh, turret with, with some weak spots, which is nice to have on uh, such a... Uh, uh, heavy armored um, tank over here, but overall what when you are going to see the MKPZ uh, Do not expect bouncing too many things now uh, Let's put this style on it and uh, before we jump into a couple first battles because I guess you want to see some first impression action uh, a quick comparison uh, to this uh, tank as well and let me close this uh, No, this one right over here you can see this tank with the same equipment setups, with the same uh, crew uh, compared to 122. So, all in all, it is less armored, 
version of 122 with more DPM. You trade armor for extra DPM. Accuracy is the same as you can see. Aiming time is slightly better. Gun depression on paper, guys, is slightly better, but I would say that gun depression is way more comfortable to use on 122 because you have minus 8 degrees of gun depression available all the time. This minus 9 degrees of gun depression is available when you are in the siege mode. Plus minus 30 kilometers per hour or 30 forward, up to 30, uh, sorry. Yes, it is 30. Yes, 30 uh, forward speed and 30 reverse speed. You have your siege mode activated. Uh, the standard uh, gun depression is uh, minus 5 degrees, but in the siege mode you can get it up to 9 degrees. So all the time those uh, hydro pneumatic or air suspension uh, gun depression accelerations are a little bit clunky. You know, it is not as fast as the all the time available minus 8 degrees of gun depression over here. And you can see it is just the less armored version of 122 TM. Mobility slightly better as well with more engine power and better power to weight ratio. And it has 20 meters extra view range. Uh, but uh, all in all, quick comparison, it's a less armored version but with a little bit uh, more TPM. Uh, than 122 TM. Not much uh, more to say about that. Uh, here is my setup with this uh, ventilation stabilizer and uh, tank on rammer. Um, it has very bad stabilization, so I would say stabilizer is definitely must have on uh, MKPZ. So let's jump into the battle and let's play a couple battles to see how it performs. All right, full tier 8 battle on uh, Mannerheim line. Let's do some sniping at first. Maybe we're able to get some uh, beautiful snipes into heavy tanks who are going to be in the south. Uh, I'm not going to push in the south, of course. Uh, I'm more here to snipe uh, from this reach line. Minus 9 degrees of compression should be good enough for that. Brochetto in the middle, g Store is pushing north, and here is MKPZ on the enemy team as well. Yeah, I've already seen couple, couple Z tanks over here, and Skoda. Nice, first shot, a hit. We need to hide, everything is able to pen us. We need to hide. Oh no, no gun depression found here. I didn't want to get banked by 703 because 703 has very good on the move stabilization. This guy can easily bang us. And any any hit in the turret is insta pen basically. Mots, mots, mots. Nothing spotted from the back here. Armor damaged, where did it pen? Turret? Lower blade! What? Okay. Lower plate pen, huh? KB5 beak again, please. North looks like okay ish right now. We're not pushing. Enemy team is kinda bushy there. So you have to play like a, a little bit like a chicken, right? A little bit like a chicken. Insta pen, man. Insta pen. Upper plate this time. My shot, I would say, was a little bit unlucky to not be a damage. Because this guy was uh, showing the side up here. This guy was uh, showing the side. Okay, we have Brochetta to deal with up here. We're not able to push in from this side. So whenever you get hit, just be ready to get pent. All there is to it. And we are going back. Good kill. Brochetto picked up. One kill D28. Picked up another Brochetto. Oh no, we are losing the entire base. And now we just wait. Now we just wait. We have to support our Brochetto. We also have SRV over here. Issue there. Heavy tanks are looking good. 
Like, gameplay-wise, me personally, I really like 122 more when it comes to the gameplay. Just because you can actually do something in the front line as well. Well, in this tank, of course, you can do stuff in front line as well, but... You need to be ready to lose all their hit points while doing that. Fully aimed. Full aim there. We penetrated our enemy nice. Target. Slowly but steadily. Can I get that issue? I should be able to, right? Nice. We need to look for new angles. Four fifty six. Four five six. Nice number though. Okay, he fired. I was trying to bait out the shot. Or simply taking it. Tanking it. Let's go back. SD1 decided to be a bit aggressive over here. We pierced our enemy shield. Nice. Okay. Very equal game. Very, very equal game. side. Maybe we can get the snipe off. No. D32 made a mistake pushing in there. Looked like SU moved in. rock that issue has five kills as well hello there's how is the dank well we are getting to know it right now ah you little bastard Actually moved up here. Quick shot. Come on. Nice. At least we got that guy. But I have one HP, guys. I have one HP and the dream. One HP. I was I was lucky there. To survive. D44. No. If this guy is gaming, he's really not going to beak from this side again. It would be hard to believe. We get a full experience over here. Wait, what? He was able to take the shot from there without getting spotted. I got proxy spotted by this other KPZ. Everything is one shot. Besides the Destervé though. Maybe if I push this up here. I can spot through the wreck. Another bounce? D34 
they did, this guy hit my hedge. Yeah, that's the only thing in the turret that can bounce. <clears throat> Quick snapshots. We're in a bit of an advantage. I hate this gun depression. I really do hate this gun depression. The jerky minus nine. It goes up, down, up, down when you move with the vehicle. Not like all the time available gun depression, right? Nah, that armor is not troll. Chat is saying the armor is troll, but no, it is not troll. I've just been extremely lucky over here. Well, I don't want to play for the draw. That's for sure. But it is going to be a draw. T-44 leaving. I don't know where they even went. I don't even know where they went. Well, through sweat and tears, we get 3k and the draw. Nobody could have bushed, you know? That was that weird... That was that weird battle or situation where absolutely nobody... A uh, good push. Because every one was one shot to each other. Even SDRV. Well, SDRV was not one shot to enemy D44, but was a one shot to SU, so still couldn't push, right? <laughs> what a weird game. What a weird game. And I got this medal as well. In this vehicle, Spartan, guys. In this vehicle, in this vehicle to get Spartan, that's kind of an achievement by itself, I would say so. And uh, one of the luckiest battles ever. 20 shots, 9 hits, 8 pens. Well, we, do, uh, we did take quite some blind shots. Uh, so, that doesn't matter. The hits we got, well, those mattered. Anyway, let's go. Let's go into the next one. Let's see. Well, we have the minus 9 degrees of contemplation, which is in the front, right? Minus 9 degrees of contemplation, but we have no turret armor. We have absolutely no turret armor. What happened in the last game was a fluke, guys. That was a fluke. Because we did play a couple warm-up battles to do test out the setup and whatnot. And uh, tier 6 were able to penetrate my turret very easily. So I'm not even... Did we get spotted? So I'm not even going to try to play the hull down early on, up on the hill. We could do that maybe a little bit later. That's me spotted over here though. I'm going to do a little driving. Low ISM, 441, nice, nice roll. And squad can finish the guy off. Tiger 1. Wow, this scorpion takes no prisoners. That scorpion only could have seen the, the top of the uh, top of the tank. And still banged it. Still banged it like no tomorrow. Okay, now we're going uh, up over there. Not enough sniping shots for us. 
and I'm hungry for some damage. I'm very, very hungry for some damage. Siege mode icon is on. Most likely the um, projector left already. That's what I say about the gun depression, like it jumps up, down, up, down. Well, welcome to one sided World of Tanks. We got completely two different versions of World of Tanks right now. First battle, 15 minute draw. Second battle, two and a half minute, nine one. <laughs> two and a half minute, nine to one. Missed. Unfortunate. Okay. Everybody else is able to reload faster than I am. Yep. Bounce. Dude, gun is the only thing you have, so you better make it work, huh? I'm going to pick the hardest target to penetrate frontally. There were so many angles where that shot could have been a miss or pen. Nope. And 15-2. Gone derped a bit with the uh, Kunze. Not Kunze, the Panzer 58 Mutz, right? Or the Panzer 58. Indian Panzer, that's what I'm trying to say. Not Mutz, Indian Panzer. Could have been 2k, but it was way too fast for this type of reload time and uh, gameplay. Okay. Not extremely exciting battle. Now I would like to see this tank in... Uh, yeah, like a couple key shots, which like one bounced, one didn't do damage, one missed. It could have uh, equaled... Better score, but even then, a 61,000 credits profit. Actually, let me check how much profit did we make in this throw battle. 62,000 still, because throw, you know, is a defeat for both teams, right? That's a, uh, that's a defeat for both teams. Okay. No boosters, nothing activated. Let's jump into another one. And this is uh, the matchmaking or the better matchmaking we were looking for. This is a tier 9 to see this tank versus some higher tier action as well. No artillery, one light tank. They have Borask, we have Borask and also we have RU251. All right. I guess we're just going to the very, very common position up over there. I don't see any, any positions where I should go. Aryu is going in for a spot in the middle. Just play safe, Aryu. Don't be greedy, don't make any greedy mistakes, just play safe. Play safe, be calm. Life is good. And RU got spotted. Already. Nice. Okay, that's so big. No, are you? Don't run away. No, why did you do that? Are you kidding me, man? You just won. And this guy goes out from the bit while being spotted. Ay, 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 ay. That was actually a pega mistake. This guy is just going, so we wait. When this guy is just going, we are just waiting. 
I spotted him. Ill. No. I want to take the blind shot so badly, but at the same time I don't. Yeah. This battle is turning into a disaster. Nope. Not possible. T95 is a nice hull down for DNH. Oh, I actually did hit Commander Hatch. Just not clean enough. This, this type of siege mode contemplation. Especially when you have nothing to work with outside of that. We pierced our enemy shield. I don't want to do five and a half minutes for first pen to appear. How am I so lucky? Let's strike this guy. How am I so lucky? Two to nine. Come on, high roll now. Oh, that was kind of green on my screen. Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> well, such is life. Guys, can I win it? I believe I can, right? That's the easiest Kolobanovs one can imagine. Well, 2,449, 826 assists as well, 3.2k, but this was, like, the, all the damage we got was at the end, basically. <coughs> Weird start that Ario driving out from the bit as well didn't help us. Only 10k hit point deficit, says Ixta. Yep. Only 10,000 HP deficit. Okay, we actually had some blind assistants, weirdly enough. Who was the blind assist? DNH, maybe? Maybe T95, maybe ML? Ah, could, could have been ML. Could have been ML. So 3600 combined. Tier 9 battle. I mean, like, our D95 went in, which was not a bad play, right? In T95, but this guy got banned non-stop. He died just way too fast. All right, let's play one more. Let's play one more. Uh, Professor X, uh, do you think it needs stabilizer? I was thinking of putting turbo there. It needs stabilizer. It has very bad base stabilization. I would say at least it needs stabilizer. What does turbo give you? Like, what does turbo give you? 
you are not going to be uh, pushing like very aggressive positions. So you are not going to frontline this tank. It's uh, it feels kind of awkward to frontline in this. We penetrated our enemy's armor. Mm -hmm. Nice. First shot. Then this is a tier nine battle. Double RT. Nothing too crazy. Let's take a blind shot. There are a lot of snipers. There are a lot of tank destroyers. So seven in total. So odds that we hit some blind shots up here are actually pretty damn big. So let me just bang a couple blinds. So uh, well, we do not have anything else to shoot anyway. Now let's put one over here. Maybe they are crowded here. No room for everyone in the bushes. And nice. Ice cold, guys. I didn't fix my uh, tracks. I didn't fix my stun. I didn't do anything. Just ice cold balls over here. I knew the second art is going to miss. Right? We all knew that. Now the question is who spotted me? That's the question. Who the hell had the balls to spot me? That's one RT. Okay, give me that gun depression now. Oh, there it is. Finally. Finally wiggled itself in. Now, someone is... Someone is doing us dirty. Whoa! Yeah, sure, mate! I think we need to be in the middle. I really don't want to, but we have so many tanks over here, uselessly. Um, uselessly because, you know, they're not able to shoot anything. But how do we get to the middle safely? Driving, taking the long road. Rebe sniping. Now who is in the middle? Leopard PTA most likely. There is that Kampfpanzer. Enemy Kampfpanzer. Wait. Yep, 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 yep. Coming to the middle was good. I want to shoot this guy. Uh, he's not coming in. So let's shoot you instead. Yes, yes, yes. He's 75. No angle. <laughs> no. I think I can still get the shot up your ass. Just like that. Beautiful. And not spotted. Not. <clears throat> I mean, I got spotted. I mean, I did get spotted indeed. 1.6k damage. With no recorded blind shots yet, guys. But we could have some blind shots. There are easily penetrable uh, tanks like Scorpion... Uh, Steur, Steur, Steyr, T25, you know, those guys we could have banked blindly. Never mind. Never mind. Hmm. Now, all of a sudden, I'm not so brave going in. Because that tier 7 can just easily destroy me. Yeah, 
He most likely ran away, right? Most likely. Ah, still here. Okay, Arte, Arte, do your magic, please. Ooh. Almost magic. Okay, SMB got spotted. Good be my blind shot. Actually good be my blind shot. <laughs> this is a tricky one, huh? Leopard PT over here as well. Not looking that hot. Wait. 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 Full aim, man. Over the tank. Lucky boy. Lucky boy. Cool. And not spotted, that's even better. By the way, I forgot to mention, I actually forgot to mention that the commander you are listening to is the special commander you get from this event. That is actually one thing I forgot to mention. This is the special commander. Leopard, leopard, leopard. Leopard most likely left now. Move, 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 move. You ain't gonna be lucky the second time, right? No. We destroy their vehicle. This tank just teaches you how to play patiently. <laughs> it teaches you how to play patiently because it forces you to do it. Pretty much. No. Out of all the ranks, Scorpion Leggy. And what am I able to do now? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Scorpion G was last in the city, you know? I was not really worried about that. Can't hear her much. Really? Too quiet? We get full gaming experience in some battles today, like the first the battle we had. Now, I'm not mad not pending that guy. I would have been more mad to die there. Which, let's be honest, would have been more likely thing to happen. Opa! Outsmarted! Outsmarted right there. SME, SME, SME. Wow. 
Whoa, that guy. That guy is repositioning like a mad lad. No, brother. No, brother. Yeah, this guy banged me. Yeah, I knew, like... I couldn't go out too fast. Scorpion G would have killed me. And from the other side, I was um, banged by the leopard as well. Leopard was a little bit lucky there. Two times. Got away from me. And uh, here is, you know, the stabilization. If I uh, would not have stabilizer over here, it would have been even worse. It actually would have been even worse. Now, let's hope for some blind shots. Uh, I did take a couple and the SMV. SMV's shot looked like, or HP looked like, we could have a blind shot into that guy. But anyone else? I don't really think so, no. I don't really think we had any other blind shots. So this is MKZ68. How did I say that? How did I pronounce this? Did I pronounce it any good? Uh... Battle Bass tank. That's like the... If it would have, let's say, minus 8 degrees of gun depression and no air suspension or no siege mode, I would enjoy this tank so much more. I don't know, this maybe is my special quirk, but um, maybe, maybe it is just me, but I really do not enjoy those tanks that has that uh, freaking jerky uh, uh, gun depression. Because it just spends more time. And you get only one degrees of better gun depression than uh, what uh, 122 TM has, for example. So, yeah, you well, you saw some good games, some okay games, some bad games. I didn't have a feeling in all of those games. This is just first impression right now. Keep that in mind, right? First impression right now. But in all of those battles, I didn't have a feeling like I had a massive impact in this game. Right? Maybe in this one. Maybe in this one. Uh, so, blind shots. Uh, we did hit uh, SMV. And uh, how much damage did I have in the game? 3.3 over here, so we got 4.6. 4 4,600 combined damage. Which is top in team, two kills as well, but we still were not able to win this. So, like, average again, and 64,000 credits profit. With uh, no credit boosters, nothing other than a premium account. But it was a defeat once Again, yet again. Uh, so yeah, this was the commander. This uh, uh, Fremen warrior was the commander with special voiceover. Yeah, it is a little bit quiet. It is a little bit uh, quiet, but oh well, it is what it is. This is also available from the battle bus. And the other commanders are hella expensive. Like actually hella expensive. Look at that. 4,000. 4,000 for the Harkonnen soldier and Emperor's protector is uh, 3,000 plus some missions as well. And uh, you can get this gal and also credit boosters, uh, yada yada yada, for 5k and also Warm Rider. So full tune cosplay if you want to do that. But yeah, uh, first impressions how I would rate this, like. I think all in all, I wa I like to play 122 TM more, even though it has absolutely horrible, horrible DPM. So that sucks, right? It's just, you know, in many battles, you are just outmatched, outclassed by DPM. But this, when it comes to slow battles, I enjoy this thing more when it comes to slow battles. Uh, Tier 9 games, tier 8 games, but versus tier 6s, like 122 can just do a cleanup over there. It's it's a weird one, like, so first impressions, how about uh, rate is like 6 out of 10, maybe. Right now. 6 out of 10. Like, 
it has a good alpha, right? It has a, a overall good gun, but I hate, legit hate the gun depression meme. Minus five all the time, up to nine with the air suspension. Uh, <clears throat> it has no armor. I will spend, in uh, warm-up games, I will spend into the turret by tier sixes, standard rounds like D150 bend me into the turret with standard rounds. Mobility is okay, mobility, nothing, nothing to talk about mobility. Uh, camo, when you put everything on it, it's uh, slightly above average uh, compared to tier 8 medium tanks. Is it worth your hard-earned money? Well, if you have, like, I don't know, 300,000 gold from the, uh, from the Christmas boxes, right? Yeah, you can spend 3,500 uh, gold on it if you, if you finish this battle pass. It is definitely not worth buying any stages. This tank is definitely not worth buying any stages, in my opinion. Now, now the more I think about the gun depression, 5.5 out, uh, out of 10. Like the alpha, I like. Armor, non-existent. Mobility is okay. View range is okay. Camo is like okay. Low DPM, no armor. Sluggish. Overall handling, no stabilization. Yeah. 5.5 out of 10. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below.